You too. What's good? It's your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances on the channel. I go into some fashion stuff as well. We're going to be getting into a lot of that stuff uh, this year. So if you like fragrances, you like looking your best, uh, you like fashion, smelling your best, uh, all those good things, then I recommend or suggest hitting the subscribe button. And I also make sure, don't forget, I would say to hit the bell icon as well, just so that when I upload new content on this channel, you get notified by YouTube. So on today's video, I'm going to be covering a topic, uh, 10 fresh fragrances that have great performance, or as we sometimes refer to it as beast mode type performance. Now, uh, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people are chasing. Uh, what fragrances are fresh, but also give you great performance as well? Well, here's one of the, a few things that I've learned uh, about this type of fragrance, right? Uh, number one, when you're looking for a fragrance that is uh, going to perform great, there are some things that are sometimes associated with a great performing fragrance. I'll just give you uh, one or two things that you will find. Number one, the quality of ingredients or the quality of uh, the materials used in these fragrances are going to matter uh, because the higher quality, uh, the bergamot, the higher quality, uh, whatever the notes is that you're going to put into these fragrances, the higher quality that you put into it, the more it's going to help that fragrance to perform, as well as the oil concentration, as you guys uh, may well know, uh, where you go from uh, EDT to EDP to parfum, uh, extract to parfum, etc., etc. The more concentrated the fragrance is, the better it's going to perform as well. So those things really do matter. In addition to that, uh, this list is very important because if you were to do a poll, you would see that most, more people prefer a, prefer a fresher fragrance versus a more sweet scent profile. Now, it's not hard at all to find sweet, resinous fragrances that are going to perform well, but again, sometimes it's more difficult for folks to find something that's a little bit more fresh that performs great uh, than something that's sweet and rich that's going to perform great. So that's why I think a list like this is so important. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and cover it. I want to tackle this particular topic. I have 10 fragrances from my collection that are more on the fresher side uh, of things as it relates to the scent profile that still give me great performance. So I'm about to dive into it. If you want to see what fragrances made this list, 10 fresh fragrances that have beast mode performance, then you know how we get down, man. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into the list. Uh, the first fragrance that I have that fit this description, fresh fragrances that have great beast mode type performance. This fragrance actually comes from the house of Amouage, and this one is called Beach Hut Man. Beach Hut Man from Amouage. Uh, when I first got this fragrance, it was one that blew me away. I am a big fan of the house of Amouage, but this was a very, very unique scent DNA uh, when you really think about the range of fragrance offerings that come from the House of Amwise. This one was very, very unique. You have this very nice, fresh, minty opening. I think this fragrance is classified as a woody aromatic. So you have a nice, beautiful, nice, uh, fresh mint opening with some galbanum that gives this really, really overall herbal and green kind of feel to this scent combined with the mint. Uh, but when it starts to dry down, you get some, some better burn here, you get some oak moss and patchouli and myrrh. So it starts to get a little bit more woody and resinous as it dries down, but it never goes into a what I would consider or classify as a darker, uh, more kind of scent profile. It really stays fresh. The mint keeps this fresh throughout. And again, I get over nine hours of performance on my skin with this fragrance. So if you're looking for one that is gonna give you fresh, and Beast Mode, look no further than this one from the House of Amouage. And again, this one is called Beach Hut Man. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list that fits this category for me, this one comes from the House of Atelier Desor, and this one is called Riviera Drive. Riviera Drive. Love the opening of this. Again, we're talking about a nice, fresh, uh, citrusy opening, a beautiful uh, note of lemon 
in the opening of this fragrance and again a little herbalness that comes from some rosemary in this one as well and just like i talked about with the previous fragrance uh beach up man i love the dry down you get a beautiful nice uh cedar wood uh, when it dries down on this one you get some patchouli as well and this cashmere note that gives this kind of unique um this uniqueness on the dry down because it's kind of warm and almost this velvety uh, texture that comes into this one with that cashmere note in this and on my skin I get really great performance for this to be such a fresh fragrance profile scent profile so this is one that I would actually recommend as well that kind of fit that category and again it's from the house of Atelier Desors this one is called Riviera Drive all right guys the next fragrance on the list this one comes from the house of Jerjoff and this one is called Kobe this one is called Kobe starts off with contrasting notes here you have a very nice orange bergamot opening with some labdanum now the star player here is going to be this this neroli note you have to love that neroli petit grain kind of combination here you will not like this one because this one is is, is full of neroli but as it dries down although you the neroli sticks around and that kind of fresh floral vibe that you get from neroli you're going to get a lot of uh, tonka bean uh, and benzoin uh as this fragrance dries down with a little hint of oud as well but it never goes to that over to that resinous side of things it kind of stays right there down the middle so you're going to get the freshness and the floralness that's going to stay throughout the course in the heart of wearing this fragrance combined with those sweeter more resinous notes on the dry down check this one out if you haven't i absolutely love this scent i've never smelled anything like it and it's really good from the house of jerry again check out kobe all right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Nishane, and this one is called Ombre Calabria. Ombre Calabria. Oh, man. This stuff right here is so good, guys. A lot of the fragrances uh, from um, the house of Nishane really feature a note of vanilla on the dry down. This one is no different. You have vanilla, musk as it dries down, but the opening is really, really fresh, man. You have some jasmine in the heart. Uh, of this and you have this beautiful herbal green opening we have green leaves galvanum in this one as well coriander uh gives it a little bit of a spicy kick but man this stuff is really really good and i like i said the theme of the the video and the list of today is it performed really really great on my skin to be such a fresh fragrance so if you're looking for one from the house of nishane uh, that is going to give you great performance but is also going to be fresh and I highly recommend you check out Ombre Calibre. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list actually comes from the House of Parfums of Marley, and this one is called Percival. Percival. Now, this fragrance that I'm sure you've heard by now reminds me so much of one of my first fragrance loves of, of my life, which was uh, from the House of Abercrombie and Fitch. And I think, it, yeah, Fierce. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Uh, we used to, I used to go in the mall back in the day, I would walk by the Abercrombie store. And I'd always be drawn to the store to go in because they sprayed the store down uh, with Fierce. I used to love that fragrance. And this is a more niche version of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Uh, and again, just like I've talked about with the other fragrances, this thing is really, really fresh, but it performs a long time on my skin. And this one gets a lot of compliments. Um, I used to get a lot of compliments with Fierce as well, and this one right here is no different. Uh, you have amber wood on the dry down. I think you have some, uh, uh, also some Ambroxan, and this one dries down as well. Like I said, it just really performs really, really well. Uh, so if you're looking for something from that house that's more fresher and performs, then make sure you check out this one right here. Again, it's called Percival. All right, now the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Mancera, and this one is Cedrat Boise. Cedrat Boise. Uh, some of the main notes to my nose in this, you get that beautiful uh, kind of lemony, pineapple kind of thing in the opening of this scent. But of course, I love the dry down, which you get that, that um, beautiful sandalwood. This is a very, very creamy, as some people would say, almost an interpretation of kind of a Crete Aventus kind of DNA. But this one has leather on the dry down instead of that birch. So it still kind of gives you that smoky thing although it's more, uh, of course, come from the use of leather versus birch. But man, this stuff is good nonetheless. This thing performs like a monster on my skin, at least. Um, 
I can definitely say that beyond a shadow of a doubt. Another one for me that gets a lot of compliments when I wear it. So if you're looking for something from the House of Mancera that is fresh and is going to perform, then look no further than this one right here. Probably the most popular scent uh, from the Mancera range. Uh, this one is called Sudrat Brother. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list is a fragrance that I really haven't talked a lot about on this channel. It was released in 2007, but I honestly just acquired this fragrance over the last two months or so, maybe three months. Um, from one of my favorite niche houses, the House of Bond number nine, this one is called Coney Island. Coney Island, and this has a beautiful note of tequila. Tequila, lime, guava, I think are some of the notes in the opening of this fragrance. So you get that, that again, that kind of, that kind of booziness and almost that, that smell of like a, a coconut lime mojito kind of thing with this fragrance right here. But when it dries down, man, you get some nice musk, sandalwood, uh, and vanilla on the dry down of this one. And listen, be prepared because this thing performs all day long. This is a great performer right here. And of course, anytime I get that lime, that citrus, that kind of mojito kind of vibe, I think, I think about summer. So think about fragrances like, now it doesn't smell like this, but think about a fragrance like Virgin Island Water from Creed. Uh, very tropical uh, vibe uh, in the opening, but again, it performed really, really well. So make sure you check this one out from the House of Bond number nine. Again, this one is called Coney Island. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the House of Perfuma Roma, and this one is called Aqua Viva. Aqua Viva. Now this thing, I will tell you now, is kind of linear. It just smells like lemons. <laughs> it smells like lemons. So the most photorealistic smell of lemons that I've ever put my nose on before. And all the fragrances that I've smelled, it would have to be this one right here. It literally smells like you took a lemon, sprinkled some sugar on top of it. You know, cut it open first, I'm sorry. Sprinkle some sugar on top of it and put it to your nose. That's what this smells like. And because the fragrances from this house, in case you guys didn't know, they're really highly concentrated in oil, this thing sticks around for a long time. So that's one of the things to keep in mind about this fragrance. This is one that they actually, the fragrance house actually rec uh, prefers or recommends, I would say, that you rub these a little bit because the oil is so highly concentrated in these fragrances. But anyway, it performs great and it's fresh from the house of Perfuma Roma. This one is called Aqua Viva. All right, guys, now the next fragrance on the list, this one actually comes from the house of Rosia Dove. This was an exclusive to Harrods, and it's called Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. Harrods Parfum Pour Homme from the house of Rosia Dove. And guys, this is just really a classic kind of aromatic fougere fragrance. It has a beautiful citrus opening that is so inviting. And like a lot of my other Rosia Dove fragrances, I get great performance out of this scent. Uh, as I talked about or meant, just mentioned, it is a, a kind of classic fougere, fougere. So you have the oak moss in here. You have the musk, uh, which are two uh, notes, of course, that you're going to find in most fougere fragrances. And it just smells absolutely fantastic. And again, it performs great on my skin. So if you're looking for another fragrance that's going to give you that fresh, classic feel uh, and one that's going to give you some great performance as well, then make sure you check out this one from the House of Rosie Dove. This is called Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. All right, guys, and last but not least, this is a fragrance that I talk a lot, I've talked a lot about on this channel uh, since I've had it. And again, for great reason, man, from the House of Replica. Uh, this is called Under the Limit Trees. Under the Limit Trees. I love this stuff, man. Uh, again, uh, there's no uh, lemon in it. This is more of a lime note, so you get that but you get the feel of lemon. So it's like a lemon lime kind of opening with some petted grain as well, some green tea. So it's very, very relaxing. As you can imagine, uh, it makes you feel like you want to be lying under a lemon tree in a hammock when enjoying a nice glass of lemonade. And like I said with the other fragrances on this list, what I love about this one is I get great performance on my skin. Uh, the thing gives me, um, seven and a half plus kind of hours performance, which is really, really good for a fragrance DNA like uh, this one right here. But anyway, I talked a lot about it before I've done a full review on it, so I won't go into much other details about this scent other than to say that it deserves to be on a list like this. So check it out from the house of Mason Margiela, the replica line. This is gonna have you under the lemon trees. 
All right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you 10 fresh fragrances that give me great or beast mode type performance to be a fresh fragrance. As always, I sincerely, sincerely to my heart, appreciate uh, your time and your attention that you give to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely to my heart appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and also make sure that you share some of these videos out to some other folks that you think might be able to use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.